Hey everyone, it's Nick from Nick's Crossing. And today I wanted to do a product review on two starter sets that are in front of you guys right now. On the right track, on the station side, it's a Lionel 080 Pennsylvania Flyer set. On the left side, it's a 460 Pennsylvania Flyer set from MTH, or Mike's Train House. Both these sets are very different and they come at very different price points. I wanted to film this video right before the Christmas season takes off, especially at Black Friday coming up and some local train shops or online may run sales. So I'm gonna show you guys the individual features of each set and then give it a run a couple times around so you can see the uh, reliability or the uh, functionality of the engines. But just to be fair, both sets include the same number of cars, a tender and a caboose. Now the features differ between each train and now with the uh, technology improving in these sets, both these sets include uh, upgraded sound packages, especially with Lionel's Bluetooth Lion Chief Remote, and also the MTH stuff includes all Proto Sound 3. So I want to start off with the uh, Pennsylvania set from MTH, and it's a 460 number 7080, and it actually has a lot of cool features for a starter set. And just on the front, uh, these two lights here light up with the front headlight, which is an interesting feature for a starter set. And also the uh, front guide wheels here, or your leader wheels, have a sprung plate in it, so it actually holds the wheels down to the track, which is great for going over switches. Um, I do like this grab iron here. I think it looks very nice. They also did a great job with the paint and also the uh, classic Tuscan red hood and cab window there. So this engine does not have a uh, constantly running like sound program. It does chug electronically, which is really nice, and it also has a fan smoke unit. So for a starter set, I mean, that is super cool. It means you can keep this train on the track. It may not like make steam noises or have crew talk, but it, the fan will keep on going so you don't burn up your smoke unit. This engine does have a whistle, but it sounds kind of bizarre. It almost sounds like a diesel horn. I don't really like how this is black in here. All this stuff, I think it should be like a nickel or chrome. I don't think it costs that much. It may have cost more to paint it. Uh, it just looks kind of bulky and the black wheels are kind of bizarre as well Here's a side view really quick and I do like how they um, Included the riveting on the die cast shell and yes this whole engine is die cast minus the tender is unfortunately plastic But they still included a, um, a detailed plastic tender with lots of riveting and it has a coal load in the back Which looks really nice So inside the cab here. There's really not much to see. It's all molded in there but if you really wanted to, you could glue a cab figurine in there and look really nice. But the uh, main concern with the set is actually this tether here that goes from the engine to the tender. So this is actually a metal bar and I believe the um, electronic leads are <laughs> built within the tether. So I'm not exactly sure how many times you'll get without the tether breaking from like pulling it out of here. So whenever I store this engine, I store it as one piece with tender and engine using two hands and just very carefully placing it down. So I did want you guys to hear the bell and whistle that I'm not exactly too fond of. It just sounds kind of odd. I don't know exactly what it is, but it sounds very uh, chalky and computerized. And here's the bell, which is just sounds really dull and kind of painful. So I'm gonna go on talking about the cars of this MTH set. And something interesting I'm picking up is that um, these cars are actually, they feel like higher end cars. I know they're rugged rail series with the die cast trucks and they're also sprung. So you get some suspension in them as well. But if you were to get rid of this steam engine or give it to someone else, you would still get your value out of these cars. And these cars have not given me any issues at all over time. I haven't done anything to them and they look great for, you know, being a little over nine years old or so. But yeah, here's the uh, golf tanker there. And you get this gondola here with the uh, crate load here. And these actually came with, with the set. And they also give you these load dividers that are these uh, foam pieces in here meant to divide it so they don't clank around. So the um, best car, in my opinion, the set is definitely this Pensy Caboose here. And it appears to be radio equipped. You actually have this uh, radio antenna up there. And inside you actually have a, uh, a crew member. Um, I guess he's manning the radio or doing something else. But yeah, this caboose looks great. It's, it's lighted as well. You get these really nicely painted grab irons here. 
Um, there's actually, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a, um, a air tank under there for your brakes. And this is also sprung, so this uh, rides really nicely. So I went on MTH's website under getting started and they show all the starter sets. And they actually had a picture of this set at the top before hitting 2020 starter sets. And it showed that this set was from the 2017 catalog. So they actually have a different variation of it now in the 2020 catalog, which is still a Pensy Flyer set, but they now do the 280 wheel arrangement. But that comes with a bay window caboose that I could not tell the road name a uh, golf tanker, which looked really nice, but for some reason they added a CNO box car, which I thought was kind of bizarre. But anyways, the engine is now equipped with Protosound 3.0, so which probably sounds amazing, and also has the DCS wireless system, so you guys can control it using your phone, and also has a loop of real tracks. So when I bought this set, it actually came with the Z1000 transformer, conventionally controlled only. They said you can upgrade a DCS, so I searched on MTH's website and found that this wheel arrangement is no longer sold. And the last time it was sold appeared to be in 2017. So after clicking on the website, I actually had a picture of my set that I presented to you guys. I'm sure it has upgraded sounds and everything, but it would not take me to the link. So I actually had to go under the 2020 catalog. So apparently now everything is sold in a 280 arrangement for their starter Rail King sets. So the closest thing I could find is a Pensy 280 Protosound 3.0, and that includes a golf tanker, a bay window caboose that I could not see the road name on, and a CNO boxcar, which I think is kind of odd that they would put a CNO boxcar with a Pensy set or a Pensy flyer. The other set that's equivalent to it is a 280 Southern Pacific that included a Southern Pacific caboose and a Northern Pacific boxcar. Again, I'm kind of confused why they would do that, not make everything Southern Pacific. But anyways, those are the only two variations I could find on the website. And the Pensy model currently goes for $469.95. So this is the Pennsylvania Flyer set built by Lionel, numbered 561. And this is an 080. This engine looks very similar to engine number 90 at Strasburg Railroad, which is not a bad thing. And they probably modeled it after it. But just some cool features here. We have an operating coupler up front. We also have an operating headlight. We have a puffing smoke unit that is uh, manually operated when the train moves, which can be kind of dangerous if you leave the engine on the track, you don't wanna burn it up. I do like the bell detail here and your safety valves here are also painted. This also is a die cast piece, which is really cool. And also I like how they left all of us unpainted here and the gray wheels look really nice. Also on top, we have some uh, other details such as the generator here and also some other details in the mold such as these lines that go down here. So really quick, I wanted to show you guys the rear of the engine without the tender. And there is much more detailing in here. You also have two crew figures that are just hanging out in there, which I always thought was really cool. So the engine and tender actually connect with a uh, plastic pin right here. And that just slides in there like that and you're ready to roll. So the strange thing with this tender is that it actually has an air whistle in it, like an old school pre or post war engine, which I think is kind of a hat tip to the past. But anyways, we're moving on to the uh, freight cars here in the caboose. So our first freight car in the set is this Pennsylvania box car and the box car door does lock shut. So this won't go swinging around when you're running your trains. You could put something in there. You could play with it, you could put all kinds of things in there running around. The uh, second car on the set is a light beacon that does not move around automatically. You can position it and has like a little grain of wheat bulb in there. Looks really nice. And the last car is just a simple Pensy <laughs> caboose that is not lighted, unfortunately, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. You can actually put one in if you want. So unfortunately, I can't really stand behind these freight cars and even the tender. Um, just after owning this for a few hours and running around the tree on Christmas day, I had the uh, contacts on the, the points there and also the solder point there. You can see it's uh, been touched up. They actually fell off and I was left with a uh, <laughs> not working car after a few rounds around the track. On top of that, I found these rollers are not sprung, so they just kind of hang there on the track. So when this would go across a switch, the roller would get caught up on the frogs and fly out. So that's not really good either. The tender has also been rewired 
And underneath it's hard to see, but the whistle one day just stopped working. So I had to take the whole thing apart and it was just a mess. It's just slightly upsetting because <laughs> this was a Christmas gift and I believe it was birthday and Christmas gift. So unfortunately, like I said, I can't really stand behind these freight cars and even the tender of the set. So I want you guys to quickly hear this Lionel whistle. And it just does not want to work. It just sounds like it needs more power. So I'm kind of confused why Lionel didn't put one of these tender systems in that Pensy flyer I just showed you guys. And uh, this thing chugs, has a great sounding bell and a great sounding whistle. So the 080 variation is still sold to this day by Lionel in a few other starter sets. So the closest variation to my set that's not conventionally controlled, it actually uses the Lion Chief remote, is the uh, Lionel Keystone Special, which includes all the same cars I have. So the other variation that's very close is the Pensy Flyer, which includes a Red Hood engine, a tanker car instead of the light car, a box car, and a caboose. And that retails now for $300 and it's sold out. So probably have to wait on that one for a little bit. The next one that's the closest is the um, number 90 Strasburg Railroad three passenger car set. It includes one Boston and Maine car and then two Strasburg Railroad coaches. And that retails for $295.99. All right, guys, so we got the Lionel Pensy running now. I'm going to put it through a little bit of a test. So I'm going to switch the switch down here and see what it does. And then I'm going to leave the other switch at the end of the station to switch automatically, which I'll show you guys right there. Yeah, so it tackles the uh, switches great. I'm starting to smell that coal smoke burning. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch it one more time. This engine does appear to run really smooth and it's pretty quiet. And I think that's mostly because of the um, DC motor inside the engine instead of an, um, a normal Lionel AC motor. All right, let's get the MTH roll in now. Let's watch this uh, MTH roll around, see how she does around the uh, switches and everything else. It does have that chugging effect in there. And the smoke does chug with the engine. You can actually see it puffing up a ton of smoke. Right, I'm gonna switch this switch here and see how she does. All right, not too bad. And that one also switched automatically. We're just filling up this whole room with smoke. <laughs> wow. That smoke unit's intense. And I'll actually stop the engine over here so you guys can see the uh, blowing smoke unit. So there's a fan driven smoke unit right there. I don't want to run it too long, but that's um, definitely a plus. I want to thank you all for joining me in my first review video for these two starter sets. And like I said before, I would post the links in the description where you can find these engines. And they, like I said, they may not be the same as these two sets. They have modern variations of them. So if you can't find the set, it probably is out of stock or it's, they're not making them anymore, especially with the MTH sets. But I'm not a paid spokesperson through Lionel or MTH. I'm just a hobbyist that wants to share my experiences with you guys for these two sets. But again, I'd like to thank you guys. And I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thank you so much.